going on guys? Heath Martin with Nonstop Progress. Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite breakfast recipes. So this oat recipe is really, really, really healthy. And so basically it only takes about 10 minutes to make and you know, you can get a lot of value out of the amount of time that it takes to make and the amount of nutrition that you're getting from it. And so, you know, you're not investing a whole bunch of time, like an hour into making this recipe. And so it helps because you can get on with the rest of your day, but at the same time, you're not trying to compensate for a poor diet plan. So this recipe is one of my favorites. It's really, really, really healthy. And you know, it's really good for somebody who's trying to upkeep a nutritious diet, but is under time constraints. And so, you know, if you're a working class person or you're a footballer who has a really tight schedule and you have school and you have to balance all these other things, then, you know, eating breakfast is probably a challenge. You might even skip breakfast, which is really, really, really not recommended by me because personally, I believe that if you skip one meal, then you're losing that energy source throughout the entirety of the day but until you get to lunch, basically. And so I definitely recommend that you do not skip any meals. You eat every single meal and so that you have consistent energy throughout the day. And so basically, the reason that this is such a great recipe is because, like I said earlier, you know, it only takes about 10 minutes to make and um, it's, it's really, really, really good for you. So the only thing that this oat recipe is missing would be some vegetables. And you can add in like a fruit smoothie or a veggie smoothie if you'd like. One of the smoothies that I really like consists of um, like a cup of kale, a cup of spinach, uh, an orange, a banana, and some like orange juice. I would strongly recommend this oat recipe for someone who is accustomed to the traditional American diet because of the fact that in the traditional American diet, you're exposed to a whole bunch of sugar and you tend to have a heavier sweet tooth than everyone else. And so, you know, basically trying to get off the traditional American diet is pretty hard. It's actually really good because the fruit that you add in to this oat recipe actually makes the dish really sweet. And so, you know, that's the purpose of adding in the fruit is because not only do you get, you know, the sugars and you get the sweet tooth variable, you also get, you know, some potassium and a whole bunch of other minerals and vitamins from the fruit. And also you get the anti-inflammatory benefits from the cinnamon and you also get the carbs from the oatmeal and the vitamins from the oatmeal. And you also get the vitamins from the milk, like a vitamin D. So you're getting a whole bunch of different things in this dish. And so now you saw me put it in there, but an optional ingredient would be the salted caramel protein that I added in there. And so I'll leave a link to all the products in this video so that it's easily accessible to you. If you wanna see more of my favorite recipes, then I hope that you like this and subscribe to see more weekly soccer and fitness content.